So uh, welcome to Gravy, everybody. I'm LJ Hollins, beverage director here. Uh, we're located at 32 East 21st Street in uh, the lovely Gramercy Flatiron District. Uh, today I'm going to show for you the Bacchanal. Uh, it's sort of a totally grape-centric approach to the classic French 75. Um, if you know the legend of Bacchus, you know he is the Roman counterpart of Dionysus, the god of wine, and this is sort of my tribute to him, the god of revelry. Uh, it starts with one ingredient, which is a, what I call a molasses of Riesling. Uh, basically, you take a Riesling and reduce it down to the point where it gets sort of a syrupy or viscous consistency, almost like this, if you uh, take a look at it. It needs to be able to coat the back of a spoon. Uh, once you get there, add to that a gin that has rather a floral sense to it. For this particular one, I'm using the G Vines Florissant which is an all-grape-derived French gin. Uh, it's easy to find at this point. If you can't find it for any reason, try Farmers. That one's worked out pretty well for it, too. Uh, so once you get there, you take your molasses, about an ounce of it. And then about one ounce of the gin. You want to stir to combine this just to sort of maintain the clarity of the end result product. Don't stir for too long. Give it about maybe uh, three, four strokes. Now, from this point, you want to add a sparkling wand. For this one today, I'm using a sparkling Riesling. Uh, again, don't be afraid of the sparkling Rieslings. This one's particularly dry. It works out really well with the other grape ingredients that are in the drink. If you tilt your glass and pour it in pretty slowly, you'll get a little bit of a gradient in the glass that lets you know that you've you know, sort of successfully made the drink. For your garnish, sandwich a mint leaf between two white grapes. Place it right over the top, and then you've got a Bacchanal, all made. If you can't make one for yourself, come see me at Gravy, and I'll make one for you. You got it.